Hi everyone, today I would like to share about the effect of transportation activities towards environment and ways to reduce. First of all, what is transportation? Transportation is a system for taking people or goods from one place to another. Transport modes are the means to supporting the mobility of passengers and freight. Basically, there are three types of transportation, which are by land, by sea, and by air. The transport activities include driving, cycling, commuting, goods and services such as consigning, packing, loading, carrying, unloading and receiving goods, and scheduling road transport. As the population growth and urbanization increases, so does the travel demand, which in turn raises the need for transportation infrastructure, thus causing infrastructure pressure. In the world, 67 million cars are produced a year. If all vehicles are counted, the number is almost 92 million. According to the World Count, by 2030, an estimated 127 million vehicles will be produced globally. By 2035, the total number of vehicles could be 2 billion. This is a huge amount and it leads to the transportation sector being the sector with the fastest growing carbon emission rate. A large portion of fuel used for transportation comes from fossil fuels. This is concerning due to its contribution to air pollution by producing significant amounts of nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide and other pollution. It also is a major contributor global warming because burning fossil fuels releases carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases like methane, nitrous oxide, and hydrofluorocarbons, causing the Earth's atmosphere to warm up, resulting in climate change of which we already started to see its effects. Transportation also influences biodiversity ecosystem. The need for the development of land-based transportation such as roads have led to deforestation. This resulted in restricting the growth of certain flora fauna and changing their natural habitats due to the fragmentation of their habitat by transportation infrastructure. Not only that, transport activities also lead to noise pollution for example, car horn, noise from aircraft flying, and water pollution such as waste generated by the operation of vessels, ballast water and oil spills from marine transport operation. So, what can we do to reduce the negative impact of transportation on the environment? Firstly, maintain and increase roadside tree planting. Roadside tree planting has many benefits such as decreased flooding, reduced soil erosion, carbon sequestration, improved visibility, manage air quality by reducing particulate absorbing gases, and providing aesthetically pleasing. In planning roadside tree planting, one has to consider is the plans for future road widening, road vision, road safety, and access to water. Next, drive less. The best way to reduce air pollution from vehicles is to reduce the number of miles you drive. You can try to reach your destination by bicycle or walking if you can. This will avoid produce any pollutants. For longer distances, you can consider taking the public transport such as bus or train. If there are no public transit options available where you live, you might choose to carpool with a neighbor. Moreover, keep your vehicle in top condition, no matter what you drive, you can make sure your vehicles operates as effectively and cleanly as possible. Always keep your car maintained and in good working order, follow the manufacturer's maintenance plan and use the recommended motor oil. This helps the emission controls of vehicles keep clean and reduce the amount of pollution puts out. In addition, keeping your tires properly inflated makes your vehicle run more efficiently and burn less fuel. Next, drive smarter. The amount of pollution your car produces can also be influenced by the way you drive. One strategy to cut down on pollution is to adhere to set speed restrictions. Driving faster burns more fuel and emits more air pollutants. So, Try to anticipate the road ahead and strive to maintain a steady speed with less stop and go driving. Last, the most important is to change the way we live and think. All approaches to reducing transport-related pollution ultimately depend on people. We have to change the way we live such as adjusting to smaller and more fuel-efficient cars. 
In addition, we'll have to adjust to using more public transportation to reduce the use of private cars or move closer to our place of business to reduce the fuel consumption. In conclusion, we must be a part of the solution to the current environmental problems, not part of the pollution, to create an environment that balances environmental health and human well-being. That's all from this video. Thank you, bye.